Hello, and welcome to the St. Paul Public Library Book Talk. My name is Janos. Do you like Sherlock Holmes? Have you reread all of Sherlock Holmes and aren't sure what to read next? Sure, there are a billion Sherlock Holmes pastiches by modern authors, but most of them are full-length novels. And if you're anything like me these days, and short stories are about all you have the attention for, I have excellent news. See, way back in 1928, an American college student named August Derleth also despaired that Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wasn't writing any more Sherlock Holmes stories. So he wrote to the author and asked if maybe he could continue the character. Sir Arthur politely declined the offer, but August Derleth was undeterred, so he just changed the names and began writing his own stories featuring consulting detective Solar Ponds. Okay, it's a silly name. Even August Derleth came to regret it, but he was literally a teenager when he came up with it. So we have Solar Ponds, the moody, messy, violin-playing detective who consciously styles himself after his great predecessor. His roommate and our narrator is Dr. Lyndon Parker, they live at 7B Prade Street, above their long-suffering landlady, Mrs. Johnson. They frequently interact with Scotland Yard's Inspector Jameson, and Pond's smarter but sedentary older brother, Bancroft, has an important but nebulous job with the British government. August Derleth continued writing Solar Pond stories up until his death in 1971, so there are actually more Pond stories than original Sherlock Holmes stories by Conan Doyle. And since the first ones were written while he was still a young college student, the series actually improves with time, and Solar Pons develops into a distinctive character in his own right. He's more genial than Sherlock Holmes, and much nicer to talk to Parker. Derleth set his stories in the 1920s and 30s, so world events and technology are advanced from Sherlock Holmes. He was also writing in the heyday of pulp fiction, and Derleth included brushes with the Cthulhu mythos, a term Derleth himself actually coined, Fu Manchu, and some other early 20th century crime solvers. While none of the Solar Pond stories quite achieves the excellence of classic home stories like the Red-Headed League or Silver Blaze, they're consistently good, whereas the Holmes canon actually has quite a few stinkers. The Five Orange Pips, anyone? St. Paul Public Library has four Solar Ponds collections in print. Since the format is instantly familiar from Sherlock Holmes, you can jump in with any volume. The first one is called Solar Ponds in Ray Sherlock Holmes, and it's followed in our collection by The Memoirs of Solar Ponds, The Casebook of Solar Ponds, and The Chronicles of Solar Ponds. So if you like Sherlock Holmes, or if you're just in the mood for some solid detective short stories, check out Solar Ponds. Now go and tell someone about a book you loved. And until next time, enjoy our written America.